Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, this is problem set one, and we're going to look at how you can take a logarithmic equation and look for equal expressions so that you can solve for the variable. Here's what I mean. If you have log of a base a, whatever that a is, for one expression and log base a of another expression, those are equal expressions. And as I mentioned in the previous video and showed some examples, we can just write those two things equal to each other and solve. Okay, that's the basic idea here. So let's take a look at these two problems and numbers three and four and go ahead and take a look at that. Try it. Come on back. I'll show you how to do them. Number three, log base 10. Notice there's no base showing, so that's assumed to be base 10. Of that expression, equals log base 10 of that expression. Ah, those are equal expressions, so let's write our new equation. So now again, I'm gonna assume that you know how to solve these multiple step equations here, but I'm gonna keep my n's on the left side, so I'm gonna subtract 5n from each side there. And I need to get rid of that three over here by subtracting it, and make sure you subtract it on the other side. Okay, so we've created some opposites. We'll be canceling there and there, and here's the next step. Negative 10n equals zero, and of course, n would have to be zero. All right, now notice when we substitute it in there, what happens? Log of three minus five times zero, so that whole thing simplifies to three. And here we have five times zero, which of course is zero, and that leaves us with just a 3 there. So log base 10 of 3 equals log base 10 of 3. All right, not a bad idea to just at least visually quickly check your answer and make sure you didn't make a mistake. All right, let's look at number 4. As always, check that the bases are the same. Yep, log base 3 here, log base 3 here. So this expression has got to be equal to that expression. Let's make them equal to each other and write an equation. I'm going to subtract 4 from each side and subtract 4b from each side. Most of the time I'll have my variable on the left side, although it really doesn't mathematically matter. That'll give us negative 2b equals negative 4. Of course we're going to divide by negative 2 on each side, don't forget the negative sign. And that's why our final answer is positive 2. All right. Well, thanks for trying those problems. Now, in the next pair of videos, we're going to be looking at when we find equal expressions, we might end up with a quadratic equation. So let's look for some of those. Thanks for watching this video. All right. There you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.